goodness, that's the last one. Uh, the finals are all wrapped up. Let's see if there's anything else I need to get done before I head out for the summer. Oh. I need to make, I don't have a game. I was going to record this. I was going to shoot this. Crap, I need this done today. I have to sp get this all finished before I leave for the end of semester for the summer. Lord, give me a sign! Yeah, I guess that would work. This game showed up on my Reddit front page back in the fall of 2018. About seven months, one Discord server, three plus days of playing, and like three or four other videos later. I think it's time we actually took a look at a game that's actually available for sale. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you all Tiny Tanks. Tiny Tanks is what it would look like if Gang Beasts and the tank level from We Play had a child. It's a party game where up to four players drive around a small blocky level and shoot at each other and try to either kill the other players or knock them off the map. The last tank standing wins the round, and the tank with the most points at the end of the game wins. For complete and total destruction of your enemies, you have a few tools at your disposal. There's your standard tank gun, which you can aim and shoot, mines that you can drop behind your tank, as well as random power-ups that rain from the sky. These can range from simple grenades, to exploding bullets, to airstrikes that can take out large portions of the map. There's also a good variation of game modes to keep things interesting. You have Apocalypse, where you have to hide from an assortment of dropping explosives, Splatoon 3 Tank Warfare Edition, two versions of The Floor is Lava, and Golf. Not only that, but each game can be played with modifiers to make the game that much more entertaining. Everything from invincible tanks to high gravity to snowstorms can be added to your levels. While you currently can't select the modifiers that you play with, or how many you can have in a game, I wouldn't be surprised if that functionality is added in the future. Put together, these all have the potential to be an excellent game when it's finally finished. But where do we, the loyal players and fans, come into play? With a game designed around small tanks and simple levels, you'd expect the game to have an easy-to-use level editor. Luckily for us, they've got one. You can expand upon levels already created by the dev team, take levels from the community and remix them, or go completely ham and build your own creations. I made a Lowe's. The editor is fairly straightforward to use. You can put the blocks down, change their direction, swap colors, and add elements to the level that you might have missed. Even building a level with the controller is really straightforward, which is something you don't see a lot of in level editors. The only drawback to the level editor, as far as I've seen, is the block selections. A lot of the time, wanting to fine-tune the placement of things like tiles can often lead to weird gaps in the levels. Having a way to better fine-tune those gaps or make smaller, more detailed adjustments to the levels could be a huge improvement to the editor, and could fix what is, in my opinion, ultimately its only limitation. Tiny Tanks is a simple game with a simple goal. Blow stuff up and have a good time. With the options it already has, this is looking like a great game to play with your friends and goof around with. With the game still being in early access, it has a bit of a way to go before it becomes a fully finished product. But from what we've seen so far, this game is not only playable, but a lot of fun too. So that's Tiny Tanks. Already, it's a game that's showing a lot of promise, even in early access. I can only hope that they're going to eventually release this game to consoles as well as PC. I could see myself spending a lot of hours with my friends playing the game, driving around little maps and blowing each other up to smithereens. But you guys are here for reviews and want to see some fancy star rating system out of whatever. So, here you go. 4 plus out of 5. I say 4 plus because 
the game is still in early access. It has a chance to develop and improve upon some of the little things that I've had issues with, or replace them completely. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you want to check out more of Tiny Tanks or go and see their Steam page, I'll have links to that all down in the description below. Here is a link right here to their trailer, their announcement trailer, which got posted who knows how far back. And if you want to see more about their stuff, I'll drop links down there for you as well. If you want to see any of the previous episodes that I've made of this series, I'll drop it up here, I guess. And I'll see you guys next time. I mean, I'm gonna be going out for the summer, so who knows when the next video will be. Look, I'd love to stay here and all the promise college. It's expensive.